What up, peeps? Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? Come on in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. We're talking about your next sexual experience. It's the Magician of Tarot here, back with another installment. Hope you guys are well, hope you guys are great, hope you guys are excited. Your next sexual encounter, next sexual experience. I've already preached I'm gonna bless four pals. Let me pick my pals, please. Go there, go there, go there, go there, okay. First pal, it's gonna be this Bailey Say. First is always the best pal. Okay. Second pal is gonna be the start and niche right there. Say twinkle twinkle little whore. How I wonder what you are. Third pal is gonna be the cinnamon stick right there. Say let's get it hot and steamy and spicy. We are ready. Woo! Last but not least, it's gonna be this card on the sea, singled out. Gonna say, mmm, la 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 la. That's all I got for you. I'm sorry. I do so much. I'm so extra. Please forgive me. Um, I'm going to give you some time stamps below. A chance for you to pick your piles. Go ahead and smash that like button for me. Um, that's all I got for you. So, peace. Let's go again. What's up, Bailey? Come on in. Let's talk about you. Let's talk about your next sexual experience, please. Hey, Spirit, what is going on with pile number one, please and thank you? I don't have any channel messages, so let's start us off. What's going on with the next sexual experience? We have the Eight of Swords out here in reverse. This is a great energy to have in reverse. Typically, the Eight of Swords are all about feeling mentally stuck with the Eight of Swords upright, but when it's in reverse, it's you feeling free. I feel like you guys have been stressing out, you've been mentally stuck, and you need a relief. And I feel like your next sexual experience will be a great relief. It will feel like it's been pent up aggression just washing away over you. I feel like this is going to be a very highly climatic experience for you. Whether this person has sexual organs that you enjoy or sexual energy that you enjoy, but I feel like you're going to feel like a brand new person after this sexual experience because my Eight of Swords in reverse is feeling free as a bird. <laughs> okay? I feel like you are going to want seconds, is what I'm hearing. Let's continue on. I read uprights and reversals, and there's a reason why this is in reverse. I feel like you guys have been pent up. It's been a long time coming is what I'm getting here with this Eight of Swords out here. And you have, you're overwhelmed with stress is what I'm getting here. And that's why this is in reverse. You're going to finally have some relief in your life. And I want you to have a lighter outlook on life because I feel like life has gotten you down a little bit. So let's continue on. Death card. Now things are coming to an end. I see a climactic end. Um, with this death card out here, though, you're not going to want it to end is what I'm getting here with this death card. This death card doesn't have any negative energy attached to it. And typically I have fear and intimidation that comes with this death card. You might be intimidated by their sexual energy or their sexual glands or their staff that they carry. But that's the only amount of intimidation and fear that carries with this death card. Your suffering and your loneliness and your lack of sex is what I'm hearing because it's been a drought out here with these skin and bones is what I see here. Your drought is over. <laughs> okay, you're about to transform because that's what the death card is, an ending and a transformation. Somebody's about to give you some bone or I see this hard ass bone and I feel like they're about to give it to you. Like, I, I can't equate how I see a bone being, uh, you know, a penis, but that's just what it is. They have a boner for you, is what I'm getting here with the death card. That's what I meant to say. What else we got? King of Cups out here in reverse. I feel like you've been dealing with a lot of manipulators and liars, is what I'm getting here. I got good news for you guys. Now, I read uprights and reversals. I feel like somebody is going to come in. And I'm hearing that they wanted you for a long time and they're going to offer you their heart space and they're going to want to trap you. They're going to want to lock it down with you with the Eight of Swords because the Eight of Swords is feeling stuck. They might be a bit possessive because they don't give their heart away freely or easily is what I'm getting here with these reversals out here. I feel like they are going to relieve your stress and give you everything that you've been looking for. But I feel like you've been dealing with liars and manipulators and that's why you probably don't want to open yourself up to the possibility with the death card and the king of cups over here in reverse but i feel like the possibility wants to open you up channel message what else we got hermit car you've been lurk looking and lurking is what i'm seeing here it's somebody that has your eye with me saying lurking okay that was a channel message y'all both lurk at each other and you're both like mm, mm, 
wonder what he's like in bed, wonder what she's like in bed. But I feel like you're going to have somebody that is going to want you to themselves. So I'm getting here. This hermit card is all about exploration and old age. I feel like one of the two is either older than the other. I see uh, age of difference out here with this hermit card out here. Okay. And I also hear that you are hard to grasp or hard to get or hard to find is what I'm getting here with the hermit card. Um, I don't want to scare nobody, but I see the energy out here. I have a relative or an older individual that's about to transition, and that's how I'll say it, okay? Somebody in your life is about to cross over. That's just what I see. Take a resume, so I don't wish this on you. What else we got? A full card out here. Now, I knew I had an age difference because there's similarities that go with my hermit card and my full card. They both go on explorations. They both go on adventures. But I see here there's an age difference. This person could be younger than you or you could be younger than this person. And they might come across as immature or childish with the full card out here in reverse. Like, I feel like you guys have high sexual energy, but you have different love languages and you have different interests in life. And I don't want you to become egotistical. I don't want you to say, I'm ben they're beneath me. I don't think you will, but Spirit is giving you a warning out here because there's an age difference. And you guys have to learn each other's love language. I feel like this is more than this, just sex, to be honest with you. Um, you have to learn each other's love language and you have to be okay with this person being childish sometimes or this person being their age. What else we got? We have the Eight of Swords out here again. Now, like I said before, it's going to be a freeing sexual experience, not just for you, for this other person as well. This person has had their eyes set on you, but unfortunately with this blindfold on, they haven't had what their stomach has been yearning for is what I'm getting here. Like their eyes are bigger than their stomach or their penis or their vagina. I don't know what it is that you're after, but it's something bigger than what you imagined it to be is what I'm getting here with that analogy out here. I feel like you are going to give this person pleasure just as much as they're going to give you pleasure with two ace of swords out here in the verse. I feel like they're stressing out um, with life just as much as you are. What else we got? We have the two of pentacles out here in reverse. Things are going to get a little rocky is what I'm getting here. Um, my two of pentacles out here in reverse is all about inner unbalance. And I feel like things are going to get rocky. Things aren't going to go smooth. And not in a bad way. I feel like y'all gonna have two rounds. You're gonna need a break, is what I'm getting here with things being rocky. It might be really passionate, really rough, is what I'm getting here, because the two of pentacles are all about being going from one point to another and being smooth with it. And I feel like they won't be smooth with it. You also might have have more than two rounds, is what I'm getting here. Or you might need more than two rounds because it's just not rough, but aggressive or Forceful, I don't know. Let's continue on though. Great Spirit, can we get close on marks, please? And thank you. Trying to find a deck. Trying to find a deck. Trying to find a deck. All right. This is somebody that you are attracted to, and somebody carries a big staff, a big penis, a big boner for you, is what I'm getting here. It's somebody that you're attracted to because my King of Wands is known to be attractive and handsome. And they are also younger than you with the full card coming out here more than one time. Just because they, you know, I feel like you know that they're younger than you and you're still attracted to them. Great Spirit, can I get closer remarks for power one, please? And thank you. Let's talk about this Eight of Swords being free. King of Swords out here in reverse. You're going to have to snap back to reality is what I'm getting here. I feel like this person is going to have responsibilities and they might be pulled away from you. I feel like they have a job that they're tied to is what I'm getting here with the Eight of Swords because the Eight of Swords being stuck and I see authority figures out here. I feel like this person is not an authority figure is what I'm getting here. I also have the Nine of Swords out here in reverse. That's a good card to have in reverse. Nine of Swords upright is all about stress and anxiety, but the Nine of Swords in reverse is all about pleasure. You see a person in bed, and they're not crying. They're not stressing out. This is full-fledged pleasure. <laughs> Let's talk about the Death card out here, upright. Hangman out here. I feel like you're enlightened, 
because the hangman is all about being enlightened and being in a stressful state. I feel like you're enlightened to the stressful state that you're currently in. You're enlightened to the drought that you're in. You're enlightened to the fuck boys and fuck girls, excuse my language, that you've been dealing with that left you alone and heartless. That's the channel message. Let's talk about these F boys and F girls that have been lying to you, but I know somebody wants to use their heart space. Somebody wants to lock it down with you. Let's talk about it. Knight of Wands in reverse. Now, it's funny. You've been dealing with whores, um, and you've been dealing with people that have been manipulating your heart space is what I'm getting with reversals. This is past energy, but I also have new energy out here. <laughs> this new person wants to slut you out. <laughs> They want to slut you out. They are going to fuck you like a whore. Excuse my language. <laughs> Let's talk about this hermit card out here. Somebody's older. Four of cups. Somebody's not happy that they're older. Somebody's aging and they're just not happy or confident is what I'm getting here with the four of cups out here. If you're not confident, it's time for you to get up and get active. Go to the gym. If you're not happy with your body, do something about it. Don't just sit on your ass. Excuse my language. Um, but you have to get up and recognize some things about yourself, okay? Because this person finds you attractive with and without, period. It's spiritual. They're spiritually led to you. Let's talk about this full card in reverse. Cherry card, if you mislabel this person as being immature and juvenile and young, you won't have a victory. I feel like this person is embarking on a new adventure towards you. And you guys got to ride the wave. You got to, you know, ride it till the wheels fall off is what I'm getting here. And I mean that in the best sense, okay? I don't want you guys to be controlling and judgmental on how this person acts. Let's talk about this Eight of Swords out here in reverse being free. Ten of Pentacles out here. I don't know why I just heard that this person feels like you have lots of money because I remember having this hermit card out here upright as well and I read upright to reversals and they feel like they don't have any money and that's what keeps them bogged down and not confident to approach you or to, you know, entice you is what I'm getting. But I feel like money matters keeps them, just like your age keeps you stuck, their money keeps them stuck or what they have to offer or their resources. Let's talk about the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Things are going to get rough, but not in a bad way. The sun card out here upright. The sun card is the enlightenment, exposure, joy, and happiness. I feel like you're going to be happy when you, they expose themselves, quote unquote. I feel like it's going to get rough because their sexual glands or what have you, or their sexual energy is just going to be overwhelming. So you're going to need a break. What, but it isn't bad with the sun card out here upright. I feel like you guys have been waiting for one another for a long time. And once you see each other naked, it's going to be a smile on both y'all faces. That's what I see here with the sun and the child smiling. So guys, that's been your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace. What's up, Star Anise? Come on in. Let's talk about your next sexual experience. <laughs> Let's get it in. Great Spirit Host here. What's going on? Pile number two, please and thank you. I don't have any channel messages, so let's start us off. Pile two. What's going on? Next sexual experience. 
Seven of Swords out here in reverse. Now, my Seven of Swords is all about calling people out. When it's upright, it's all about thievery and sneaking off. With this being in reverse, I feel like you're going to have a sexual experience with somebody you're not supposed to be having sex with. I feel like y'all are going to be doing some hanky-panky or some cheating <laughs> is what I'm hearing. Um, like I said before, the Seven of Swords are all about sneaking off and stealing and being corrupt. I feel like y'all are going to be loud, though, because like I said before, the Seven of Swords in reverse is all about calling people out. So I feel like somebody's going to hear you having sex, first and foremost, and they're going to hear you having sex with somebody that you're not supposed to be having sex with, somebody you're cheating with, or somebody's cheating with you, with somebody else. It's starting to get messy out here, okay? I read uprights, reversals, I count my cards, and I take notes on the first card and the last card. We're starting off in reverse. You know darn well... You should not be having sex with this person first and foremost. And I feel like y'all going to be loud. And that's how y'all going to get caught. Channel message. What else we got? We got the queen of pentacles out here. But what we have most importantly is a karmic. A karmic is a person that has to learn their karmic lesson. Somebody that takes things that don't belong to them. Somebody that likes taking shortcuts in life. So I feel like you guys want to take a shortcut. You want to take something that doesn't belong to you. With the seven of swords upright. I read uprights and reversals if I didn't mention but with this queen of pentacles upright, whether you're a woman or a man, you have to recognize your worth. You have to say, you know what, I'm better than cheating on my significant other or allowing them to cheat on their significant other. Okay? So you got some tough decisions to make. But I, I still see loudness with this seven of swords out here. I feel like y'all are going to get caught in this about damn time. This probably hasn't even been your first, you know, time having sex together when you sh know you shouldn't have. Let's continue on, though. We have the Knight of Swords out here. I see more loudness because the Knight of Swords is quick and he's rough is what I'm getting here. And you might be dealing with somebody that comes quick and is rough with it is what I'm getting here. And that's more reason why it's not worth it is what I'm getting here with the Knight of Swords out here upright. Like, I don't even feel like you guys reach your climax is what I see here with this sword this person isn't invested in you that's another reason why you're not you shouldn't be involved with this person it's what i'm getting here with this knight of swords out here you need to flee you need to find someone new is what i'm getting here because my knights go on mission you got to go on a mission of knowing your worth and moving on channel message i also have the six of swords out here in reverse which means this message probably brings you turbulence and i'm calling people out you know because we started off with the seven of swords in reverse calling people out and the Six of Swords in reverse is all about being in a turbulent state. So I'm sorry to call you out, but you guys should have, you know, looked yourself in the mirror and say, you know what, I deserve better a long time ago. Is what I'm getting here with the Knight of Swords out here. Now it's time to do something about it. What else we got? We have the Four of Cups in reverse. My Four of Cups and my Two of Swords in reverse are both cards that tells me that you're receiving a message that it resonates. The Four of Cups is being closed off to a message close off to spirituality, close off to doing the right thing. And I feel like this message fully resonates for you. It's not to make you um, sad. It's not to make you angry. It's for you to do better for yourself. That's what I'm getting here with the Four of Cups. It's for you to stand up and know your worth. Like I mentioned before with the Queen of Cups, I mean the Queen of Pentacles out here. What else you got? We got the Five of Swords out here in reverse. Now the Five of Swords is all about mislabeling your enemy. And I feel like you feel like that no harm is being done if nobody knows and that's false because you are racking up karmic debt like i mentioned before with this queen of pinnacles in reverse this is a woman who has to learn a karmic lesson just because the energy is familiar doesn't mean it's okay for you guys to tamper with okay you become an enemy real quick excuse me hold on wait a minute this is upright <laughs> sorry you become a karmic real quick and doesn't mind backstabbing people is what I'm getting here. So be mindful of that and don't join the circus. Don't join whatever he has going on in his life or she has going on because they are enticing you. You're still going to have karmic debt. You just might not recognize it now. Also have the four of swords out here in reverse. It's telling me this message does not bring you peace. Just like the six of swords in reverse. I feel like you probably invited this person in your bed when you should not invite this person to bed. This person doesn't bring you peace. 
what else we got? I don't have sexual energy out here because we shouldn't have sexual energy out here. <laughs> what else we got? We have the five of cups out here. I'm sorry this message brings you sadness and turbulence and sorrow because that's not my intention. My intention is to enlighten you to your karma, okay, that you're inquiring in this lifetime because you will have to reincarnate if you don't learn this lesson, okay? You don't want to backstab other people because you feel like you're without, okay? I also have the Ace of Cups out here. This is a good portion of your reading because the Ace of Cups upright tells me there's new fresh energy for you, a new chapter for you, but you have to believe in your worth first. Spirit wants to bless you. Spirit doesn't want to see you down and out, but you have to move like you got some sense. <laughs> you know, what else we got? We got the judgment card out here in reverse. I feel like a lot of you guys feel called out. Like I mentioned before, because my seven of swords in reverse is calling people out. And so is the judgment card. Judgment card upright is a message, a wake up call, a test. You guys are being tested. You guys feel like life is being harsh or I'm being harsh and I'm sorry. You feel like I'm being judgmental with the judgment card in reverse. I'm not. I'm just trying to get you out your own way. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm not, I don't know you personally, you know. I just want you to say, you know what, I deserve better. I need to rise to the occasion. This person probably already has a family, you know. You got to consider that. You got to consider them before you even consider yourself, you know. You, you hurt another person or another child inadvertently. Let's get some closing remarks, please. Two of Cups out here. Now, remember when I had the Ace of Cups, I see new energy out here for you, better sexual energy out here for you, but you have to detach. You have to put a blockage between somebody that you know as familiar, somebody that you even view as attractive or, you know, has it all or money. It's not worth it. Great Spirit, can I get closing remarks from Powell too, please and thank you. I see this person is loud, rough, and quick. <laughs> Let's talk about the Seven of Swords out here in reverse, calling people out. Six of Wands out here. I feel like I gave you guys confidence. And I don't mean to toot my own horn or pat myself on the back, but the Six of Wands is all about going through it and getting through it. It's all about victory and public attention out here. I feel like you recognize that this person would never take you out in public or never be seen in public. And some of you guys are okay with that. I'm here to tell you you're worth more than being behind closed doors. That's what I'm getting here with the Six of the Wands out here. I feel like I set you on your way to victory to another direction. Let's talk about this Queen of Pentacles, knowing your worth. Justice card is out here upright. You guys got to deliberate and distinguish between apples and oranges, what you're worth and what you're worth, what you're not worth. Okay? You don't need to be a part of a third party situation. You need somebody that's going to value you distinctly you guys hold and have to carry yourself with authority and with self-respect that's what i see here with the justice card and the queen of pentacles let's talk about the knight of swords out here ace of cups as soon as you walk away that's when life is going to bless you with love because i already had the ace of cups come out here earlier i counted my cards and the spirit is confirming what i just said or earlier what i said and i feel like if you are adventurous if you guys believe in yourself, you will receive love. You will receive substance. Let's talk about the Four of Cups out here in reverse, being fully aware. You're fully aware that this person holds attraction and or whatever they have, they have something that you want or an ideal type of situation, but it's not ideal. Not when you're a third party or not when you are a mistress is what I'm getting here with the king of wands out here upright. I feel like some of you guys feel like you're being bullied. That's what I'm getting here with the king of wands in reverse and you're not noticed. And I feel like since he doesn't notice you in the way that you need, you gotta, you know, make some changes. Let's talk about the five of swords out here in reverse, mislabeling your enemy. It's time to grow up is what I'm getting here with the hierophant. I mean, not the hierophant. I feel like you work with this person with the Hierophant out here and the Hermit card out here. So you could work with this person. This person could do things while they're at work, I don't know, with you. And it's inappropriate <laughs> for me to even think. But um, you guys got to grow up and stop 
thinking that what's done in the dark won't come to light because it will and spirit is literally the light you know you gotta recognize that this comes with karma and you will take it with you and it will be baggage in the next life let's talk about the five of cups out here regret ten of pentacles out here i feel like it wasn't worth it at the end of the day with the ten of pentacles out here in reverse i feel like this person never bought you anything or never really showed that that you were worth it with the ten of pentacles out here in reverse so now it's time for you to do some some changes let's talk about the judgment card in reverse being harsh i'm sorry temperance oh i know it's me because i carry sagittarius energy and the temperance is known to be sagittarius and i'm sorry if you guys think i'm being harsh but I'm really trying to heal the situation. I'm really trying to bring you peace. Like, I see a rabbit and a turtle out here. You're going a little too slow for spirit, okay? You got to get on the mission, and you have to take this message and do something with it. Sorry. I love you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace. What's up, Cinnamon Sick? Bring it on in. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, uh oh, lots of energy. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Great Spirit, what's going on, pal? Number three, Cinnamon Sick crew. You guys got extra cards. You might want to go to pal two because we have duplicates out here. Great Spirit, what's going on, pal? Number three, please and thank you. Eight of Cups out here. This is not good energy. I see sexual energy out here, but I see you walking away from it or wishing you never spent enough time. You, you wish you never spent time on it is what I'm getting. The Eight of Cups is all about leaving everything behind, everything that you've accumulated, everything that you've acquired, and just walking away. I see the sex out here. I see you wishing you never had the sex, though. <laughs> What's going on with this? Six of Cups out here in reverse. Like, somebody doesn't listen is what I'm getting here with the Six of Pentacles because the Six of Pentacles are all about giving, and I feel like you try to give them a message of how you want to be pleased, and I feel like they didn't reciprocate or they didn't do what you needed. They didn't hit the mark is also what I'm getting. I'm seeing these squirts out here. Neither one of you came is or going to come is what I'm seeing here with these squirts out here. Because they don't listen is what I'm getting here. They don't reciprocate. I feel like two bodies need to merge. But there is a disconnect here with the six of coins coming out here in reverse. And that's why you want to walk away because you feel like you're wasting your time. You're wasting, you know, your body. You're wasting, you know, you telling this person how you need to be pleased. And you're like, okay, I'm done. What else we got? Two of swords out here. This is being closed off and cold hearted. And I feel like this is after the fact is what I'm seeing here. It's saying, damn, why did I even have sex with him? It was just a waste of time. I should have kept my legs closed is what I'm getting here. Um, and it's just like, you know what, this person just doesn't listen. It's a stalemate. They're closed off. They're never going to listen. What else we got? We got the hangman out here in the verse. This is lots of stress out here. When you made this person enlightened to how you need to be pleased and hit that mark, they were completely oblivious is what I'm getting here with the hangman being in reverse. All they did was, I'm, I'm seeing worse, like, it was supposed to be a pleasurable experience, but somehow it got worse when it shouldn't be. You know, you shouldn't be in pain. You shouldn't be stressed. You shouldn't be, you know, 
just stuck is what I'm getting here with the hangman in reverse. And I feel like that's what it left you stuck and wishing it was somebody else. Um, I want you guys to know I read uprights and reversals, like comic cards, and I take notes on the first card and the last card. That's not what I want you to know. But I want you to know that this person heard you loud and clear. They just didn't want to act or they didn't feel like acting. They, you're dealing with a really closed off person, a really, it's like you're talking to a wall. What else we got? We got the Six of Swords out here. A lot of you guys know you should move forward from this person because I see this air balloon. It looks a lot like my head, doesn't it? Like, that's a joke that I like to say because I read all my cards individually. I feel like this person knows exactly what you want and how you want it, but you just don't receive it. And now you know you have to float elsewhere. You have to go elsewhere to find it. Six of Swords are all about going from a rough state to a calm state. You've experienced the roughness. Now it's time for you guys to find calmness in your pleasure. I also have the Eight of Swords out here upright, which tells me you guys left the situation feeling stuck, feeling like you weren't pleased at all. You were actually in a deficit before you even had the sexual experience. That's what I'm getting here. You probably already know who I'm talking about because I feel like you do. What else we got? We have the Two of Swords out here twice. That tells me neither one of you guys came. <laughs> Neither one of you guys had a sexual climax. It wasn't worth it for any either one of you. But you still took them to bed because I have the four swords out here. The four swords are all about, you know, finding peace and rest. And I feel like y'all probably just went to sleep. Or it just wasn't good for either one of you guys. But I see neither one of you came. Neither one of you enjoyed it. So why waste each other's time? Channel message. And I have the ten of swords out here. Spirit is telling me, like, it was penetration, but it wasn't chemistry. You know, you can't smash a puzzle piece in a, a, a puzzle piece and expect it to work. What else we got? Somebody gave up or somebody didn't want to, you know, continue is what I'm getting here with the Ten of Wands out here. It was too much work. And they look at it as stress and burdens. They don't look at you as pleasure and passion. That's what I'm getting here with the wands out here in reverse. A lot of you guys walk away frustrated and anger because you can't release your load. <laughs> I feel like I got some men out there, but I see him uh, wanting to put down a load. If you know what I, if you know what I mean. And I feel like he wasn't able to because she didn't want to. Ending this reading with the tower card. I feel like there was an argument or something nasty that came about it is what I'm getting here with the tower card out here. The tower card is an emergency and a crisis. And they probably came up with something that they said, oh, you know, I can't do it because of X, Y, and Z, but I feel like it was sand castles in the sky or it was a lie is what I'm getting here. But they came up with an excuse. But it was also an argument followed after the sexual experience. I, nobody needs to have sexual experiences that bring them stress. So that should be your first sign that you're not compatible or you have chemistry with a particular person. I'm trying to find a deck. Please excuse me. Sun card out here. I feel like you're fully aware of who would give you pleasure. Because a sun card is all about enlightenment, exposure, happiness, and joy. I feel like you have somebody in your sights that you know for a fact will, that will complete and give you, you know, climax, but I feel like, oh, lover's card out here. You know exactly who to go to, but I feel like there is apprehension or you're scared is what I'm getting here with the hangman out here in reverse. But you can be fulfilled is what I'm saying here with the sun card and the lover's card upright. But it's just a matter of who you choose to do it with. Great Spirit, can I get closer on March for pal three? Please and thank you. Two cards for the hangman, two cards for the two of swords. I like starting off with my duplicates, so let's start off with the hangman out here in reverse stress. Six of pentacles out here. I feel like one of you guys came up with the idea and the other person just went with it just to make you happy, but it was no point of just going with it if you weren't gonna be invested in it. What else we got? Five of Swords out here in reverse. Five of Swords in reverse is all about mislabeling your enemy. I feel like the entire time they were with you, they were thinking about another person behind your back. 
the opposite of what's upright is enemy, ill intent, corruption. I feel like they know where their pleasure is, and now you have to find your pleasure. I feel like both of you guys aren't don't have chemistry. I feel like both of you guys don't find the value within one another. Let's talk about this two of swords out here. That's right, being closed off. Four of wands out here talks about celebration. This is somebody you live with. While you are living with a person, they're thinking about another person in the back of their mind, and that's why there's no climax. That's what I see here with this wreath out here. Knight of Rods out here, and I have the Five of Wands out here. Five of Wands is all about other people, conflict, corruption, arguing, drama. I feel like somebody wants another person to fight for them or, you know, they have another person in their sight because it's option out here with the Five of Wands out here. I also feel like this person, whoever, I feel like this person has cheated on you. And I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But I have this knight going into a home space. I feel like this knight or whoever this other person is has been in your home before. And that's a problem for me. <laughs> I don't know if it's a problem for you unless you have an open marriage. But I see the five of wands out here. And that's all about conflict and drama. And then being in your home and an invitation. That's what I see here. Oh. Let's talk about this. Eight of Cups out here wanting to walk away. Moon card out here. The moon card is all about fear, illusions, emotions, lies, delusions. And I feel like you guys just live in this delusional mind space where you feel like the passion will just reignite. Or you just don't want to face the music of this person just not being compatible with you. You want to force it. And that just won't work. <laughs> The moon, like, the moon card is all about lies. Like, lies never work. You can lie to yourself. You can lie to this person. But you can't lie to your heart. <laughs> Let's talk about the six of coins out here in reverse. We got the seven of wands. This is all about defensiveness and boundaries. I feel like you communicated what, what gets you off, what would please you. And I feel like this person put up boundaries and was like, uh-uh, you're not that special. Or, uh-uh, I'm not doing that. Let's talk about the Two of Swords being closed off. Knight of Pentacles. My Knight of Pentacles is slow, methodical, and he goes at his own pace. And he's at a standstill. I feel like this other person was at a standstill on how they wanted to please you. And it was they were never really motivated to really, you know, make you climax. Let's talk about the Six of Swords. It's better elsewhere with the Six of Swords. And you know where it is, but you have to, you know... Some of you guys need to inflate your ego or inflate your confidence. That's what I'm seeing here with this air balloon. Judgment card. Judgment card is a message, a wake-up call, a test. And I feel like with the lover's card coming out here upright and the sun card out here upright previously, you are receiving this message. You know where to go, but the test is in your hands. Let's talk about the ten of wands in reverse. Wanting to quit and wanting to drop off a load. Somebody... There's a barrier out here, and I feel like money gets in the way of you or them making the decision, and that's why you feel trapped and you're with a person that you can't drop a load off in because of money matters and because of earthly, trivial things, and I feel like until you recognize real, you'll be stuck behind this barrier that you can't cross or being unpleased. Let's talk about this tower card, an argument and an, ex an excuse. Four of Cups is all about being unhappy with the message. I feel like they created something and the sky sees more sand castles in the sky with all these clouds. And I feel like you were left unhappy and unsatisfied because that's what the Four of Cups is, being unhappy with the message. You know, time and time again with all this ivy, you guys have seen this character, this person's character. And you got to do something. You have to get up and say, you know what? Enough is enough. Guys, that's all I got for you. Please like, share, and subscribe. I want you guys to find your climax because you are owed peace.
What's up, Kyle MC? Come on in, bring it in. We want to talk about your next sexual experience. Holy Spirit, what's going on? Pile number four. I don't have any channel messages, so let's start us off, please, and thank you. What's going on, pile number four? We have the Knight of Swords out here, upright, which is good energy, active energy. And I'm not getting much energy off this Knight of Swords. My Knights go on missions, and they have a task. I feel like you're going to deal with somebody that knows what they want out of the sexual experience whether that's you or them i feel like they have a goal to meet is what i'm getting here i feel like they want to see you climax and both of you guys climax i see this ridge or this mountaintop and i feel like they will meet the mark i see somebody you know yodeling at the top of the mountain <laughs> what's going on here seven of wands out here somebody wants you to let down your guard somebody wants to forcibly knock down your walls <laughs> Somebody wants to pound you out. The seven of wands is all about defensiveness and boundaries is what I'm getting here. But when it's in reverse, they want to let down, they want you to let down your guard. They want you to let them in. You know, they want you to submit is what I'm getting here with the seven of wands. They don't want you to be on defense. They want you to submit. It's getting kinky in here. I just bit my lip and it's just like you turn them on and they want what they want is what I'm getting here. I also have paranoia. This person or you, excuse the sirens, but you or this person gets really paranoid and you start creating defensives and walls. That's what I'm getting here. I'm hearing from spirit for unknown reasons. What else you got? We have the ace of wands out here. Now we got sexual glands. Um, and that's all I'm getting. I see sexual passion with this ace of wands and I feel like they really want to make you tap is what i'm getting here they want you to submit and buy their sexual gland i also have the six of wands out here in reverse i feel like they want you to submit so much that they want you to embarrass yourself by being so loud they want you to tap out the six of wands in reverse is all about being embarrassed and not wanting people to hear or see you and i feel like they want you to call their name they want you to say, oh, no, enough is enough. No more. No mas. Papi, no mas. This is what they want. <laughs> what else you got? Oh, okay. So now I got same-sex relationship. I know everybody out there is not same-sex, but whenever I have two nights or them being parallel, I have to call it out because that's what I see. So I feel like uh, I got some type of same-sex relationship for somebody out here. But the Knight of Swords is, I feel like you want to please them just as much as they want to please you. Channel message with both these knights. Because like I said before, my knights go on missions and they're goal-oriented. So, what else you got? And they're also defensive. Like, they want to beat it up. <laughs> they want to seize. And they want to tame is what I'm hearing. Three of Cups. This is also a person that wants to share friendship. They don't want to just share um, sexual energy is what I see here. I'm also seeing maracas, as you guys can see too, but I see a foreign place or an exotic place. They look at you as exotic or they wanna go somewhere exotic with you, is what I'm getting here with Three of Cups. But they wanna be your friend just as much as they wanna fuck your brains out. Excuse my language. Excuse my language, please. What else you got? Ace of Cups out here. I feel like they're not ready for love, which is why we're talking about friendship first. Now, don't think because they're not ready for love that love won't manifest because i have the tool cups out here upright it will manifest but y'all gotta be friends first they might have just gotten out of something sour is what i'm getting here with the ace of cups out here in reverse or they might have been rejected because my ace of cups in reverse is pouring out love so they might have been rejected i'm not saying you guys are going to be the rebound but i'm saying that you know you guys are going to start off as friends and then gradually work your way up they're coming from something really turbulent. I see tears out here and sorrow. What else we got? We have the Queen of Swords. We got you guys being vigilant and on alert is what I'm seeing here with the Queen of Swords. I feel like you're fully aware because she holds a sort of truth, clarity, and intuition. I feel like you know who I'm talking about, to be honest with you. I also have the Three of Swords out here upright. This is what Spirit is showing me. Somebody just had their heart broken. And I don't think it's you guys. I think it's this other person. All right, let's get closer to Mark, please, and thank you. Okay, Spirit wants me to show you this. 
somebody either got let go of or they let go of someone else in secret. That's what I'm getting here. They came with a lot of shadows and secrets. That's what I'm seeing here. And they wanted to keep things to themselves. Because I read uprights and reversals. They try to come back, but they are fed up and they just walked away. Somebody wanted a second chance. And they thought that they were going to be held on to. But their ass got tossed out. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Spirit wants me to show you this. Somebody got called out. Somebody tried to sneak back on them. Or they thought that they didn't have a door and they could just come waltzing back on in. But they got called out and was like, uh-uh, we're not dealing with you no more. <laughs> okay. Take a resonate, y'all. I feel like you're fully aware of everything that I just pulled because the Four of Cups in reverse is all about being fully aware and not being closed off to a message. Okay. All right. Now we got a Knight of Cups. Now we can proceed. <laughs> Great Spirit, what is going on here? That Knight of Cups is telling me that they want to court you and date you and go places with you. Great Spirit, what's going on with Pile 4? Please and thank you. I don't have much sexual energy besides they want you to submit. Let's talk about this Knight of Swords out here. Four of Cups out here. I feel like this message fully resonates for you guys. I feel like this has been a long time coming because Spirit is showing me this mountain ridge. Like, it's been a long time coming for you guys to reach the top. Seven of Wands, they want you to submit. Seven of Swords out here in reverse. Now, the Seven of Swords in reverse is calling people out saying, hey, what do you think you're doing? When the Seven of Swords is all about corruption. So I'm seeing lots of loudness. I'm hearing lots of moaning. And like I mentioned before, they want you to say their name is what I'm seeing here. They don't want to put up with anybody that's going to be fraudulent or corrupt is what I'm seeing here with the Seven Wands. Seven Wands is defensive, defensiveness and boundaries. And they've dealt with snakes and, and, and corruption. And they don't want to deal with it no more. And I see submission and I see loudness saying, oh, daddy, please stop. <laughs> Let's talk about this Ace of Wands out here. Strength card in reverse. They probably won't know when to stop. I feel like they've been repressed is what I'm getting here because the strength card is all about patience and repression your inner desire. Well, not inner desires, but your frustration and anger. And I feel like they probably won't know when to stop. They just want to deliver the D. You know, they have, they want to roar in that cage of yours or they want to use muscle. They want to pound it out. I'm seeing so much aggression out here. Let's talk about this Knight of Swords out here. They've been carrying a long load, and I mean that literally. I feel like they got, like, they haven't climaxed, they haven't ejaculated in such a long time. They've been building it up. <laughs> this is what I see here. Um, and they also are faced with a lot of responsibilities, because the Ten of Wands carries lots of responsibilities, and they want to relieve themselves sexually. Let's talk about the Three of Cups, friend. Nine of Cups. You guys aren't happy just being friends or being a rebound. I feel like when I say that, um, you know, you're not a rebound. You guys got in a, a, a tissy. That's what I see here. I also have the Six of Cups out here in reverse, which tells me you probably won't trust this person fully initially because you know that this person was coming from a third-party situation so quickly. Okay? So that's why we have unhappiness out here. Yes, you probably want to be this person's friend too, but the way they went about it and the way they discovered things doesn't make you happy. Let's talk about this. Okay, so now I got the Ten of Cups out here in the verse. A lot of them learned this from their toxic family, and they wanted to impress family is what I'm getting here with the Ten of Cups out here in the verse. They were withholding their happiness, or Spirit was withholding their happiness, because they didn't recognize who was worthy of their love. You know, this person needs things spelled out for them. That's what I see here. And that's what makes you not happy. Okay. Let's talk about this Ace of Cups out here in reverse. Wheel of Fortune. I see a 180 or a change. So this wheel always turns. And I feel like once they poured out something, they have to recognize what's worthy of their love. This is a new chapter, a new lifestyle is what I'm hearing with this uh, Wheel of Fortune out here upright because this is a 180. It encompasses good fortune and bad fortune and they are just leaving the bad fortune. Now they want to see the good fortune but they got to pour something out first. They were also dealing with somebody that was money hungry or controlling is what I'm getting. Let's talk about the Queen of Swords out here. You guys being vigilant. 
star card in reverse feeling hopeless is what my star card is in reverse I feel like you were upset that this person built up toxic and negative people up and they looked at them for guidance and inspiration instead of you when you were the one holding the sword of truth. So it's just like, wow, why should I, you know, stick around if you guys don't value me, if you don't see me as a star or see me as worthy? That's all I got. Please like, share, and subscribe. I love you. Peace.